Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to series where we get all the Creation Club mods starting from level one. And in this video, we'll be getting the stuff for Hazadoki. Now, this is something I've mistakenly ignored in my own game. I would say this is a must have for your low level character, especially if you're playing without a follower. And I'll explain why later on. Anyway, let's go get it. Okay, so here we all are outside White Run. Got the whole crew together. I'm probably going to be dumping Genesa. Um, well, I, I may be also getting rid of Inigo, I'm not sure yet, because we'll be picking up Groff. The whole thing is gearing up so I can actually do quests like Umbra, which is going to be, let's be honest, stonkingly difficult at level one. Yeah, we'll see. See how I feel. But even if you don't um, use Inigo and Lucian, you know, you, you, for some of these you are going to need a follower. And a Groff as well is, uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty essential to get through some of the harder ones, I think. Okay, sneaky sneaky. Now yeah, we just pop in Stormy. There you go. Oh, didn't see him. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you guys are now seeing why I'm doing everything in the order I'm doing it in. Um, didn't just come straight out of Helgen and go and get Umbra or do Forgotten Seasons or anything like that. Yeah, there are three three uh, CC mods which uh, are, are very tricky. Um, like I say, Umbra is one of us, um, bugger of a boss fight. Forgotten Seasons is very difficult and um, Saints and Seduces is actually quite quite tricky, to, to be honest with you. But hey ho, we're still level one and we're getting there. Okay. Sure there's some scoom around here somewhere. Or some more scoom. And don't forget to pick up stuff like Skeever Tail and stuff like that. Okay, this has spawned some more enemies. So never we've uh, robbed this chest. Now you can do this single, but honestly it just makes it a whole load easier if you've got your followers and blah blah blah. And that's what they're all about. Okay, where's my horsey? Okay, let's go.
Yeah, I've uh, noticed on my analytics, actually, a lot of you guys are watching this on mobile phones. Um, I don't know if you can see it when we're playing in the dark, actually, on a mobile phone screen. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you can or can't. Make sure that's on. Okay. Got two quest markers there. What's the other one for? I'm a bit confused on that. No, that's taking me the wrong way, surely. Yeah, it must take me the wrong way. What the hell's going on? Okay, I obviously got a bit of a glitch going on somewhere. I've actually noticed a few more glitches in my game recently. Um, we just use a map. Snap that while we're here. Oh damn, I keep on forgetting we're convenient horses. I can pick this stuff up whilst we're saddled. I just keep on forgetting to do that. Yeah, you can't um, talk to this guy, do any persuasion or threats, you just have to kill him. That's actually a very handy staff to have. Okay. Silence will serve us well in this place. Come on. Let us take our foes by surprise. Oh,
Okay. What's it? Oh, it's a giant. Jesus, I wonder what that was. Yeah, you know, I think we'll leave him alone. Ah, oh, the quest markers come back up, I think. No. Why is it? No, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, well. Oh, yes, it has come out. Not good. Yeah, the old game is getting a bit buggy at the moment. I'm not sure what's wrong. Let's just go with this. Well done, in you go. Tiddly made a boo boo. Tiddly's in trouble. <laughs> Damn, I did want to tangle those. These are parts of the, uh, the Saints and Seducers uh, mod. Oh well. Come back to this point. This is when we pick up one of the creatures from there, so I'll just come back later. Just ignore that now. Now, you want to be careful doing this. Um, these guys are quite powerful, it's a little bit above our pay raise. Um, obviously, I'm coming in with an army, so it should be good to go. But if you're not, this can be quite tricky, so you kind of want to plan it. But it is durable. I seem to have problems with archery uh, in my game.
Let's just sort out a little, a little sneaking I've been doing in this game. I'm at level 20. Oh, what's that, you little bastard? Yeah, these are not normal skeletons. These are like the shadow skeletons from the Soul Can. Um, but that makes a difference, really. Oh, damn, damn. Yeah, I got that completely wrong. Okay, so anyway, that's done. Yeah, I should have popped in an Atronach. Okay, there is a bit of stuff to loot around here. And there you go, the Staff of Hazadoki. It's kind of a cool looking little thing actually. And I'm guessing obviously um, the level that you get is obviously at what level you are. Uh, at level one, you're going to get bugger all, to be honest with you. But every little help, every little bit helps, as they say. Human heart, nom nom. Stupid skeleton. Okay, looks so, like we still in combat. Oh, damn it. I'm so used to having the light foot perk where I, I don't set traps off. Um, yeah, I keep on forgetting. Can't believe I haven't been killed yet. Okay, so let's go and take a look at this thing. Okay, so why is this staff so good? Well, if you're playing without a follower or are a low level character, it enables you to take one or more enemies out of the fight, either to take them on, uh, one at a time, or indeed to escape. Staff also creates a permanent 40 point ward protection while being held, 
and when cast it will ragdoll forcefully knock back uh, your target and if the target dies within 60 seconds they will be soul trapped though to be honest I've never noticed the soul trapping but then again I haven't used staff that much so we'll see personally I will most definitely make more use of this staff from now on I actually think it's absolutely brilliant as I said for low level character or if you're playing without followers and stuff like that okay hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next one love you